Hello and welcome to the SIPSI Billing Simulation Awards and the interim session on the future of simulation. My name is Dr. Nagman Khan from SimScale and I'd like to quickly give you an overview of some of the trends and uh, key issues we're seeing in the world of billing simulation. Uh, first of all, SimScale is a German software company headquartered in Munich and we have people all over the world. I myself am based here in the UK and we have created the world's first cloud-based engineering simulation platform that specializes in CFD, FEA, and thermal simulation with hundreds of thousands of users worldwide and SimScale is on the cloud. Now, what does that mean? It means that SimScale can be accessed via a web browser. So a simple username and login will get you access to incredibly powerful uh, CFD and other tools, which makes it incredibly accessible and democratic and easy to use. Now, let me take a step back. What is computational fluid dynamics? In simple terms, it's uh, engineering simulation used to model the detailed behavior of fluids. Now, in architecture, engineering and construction, we can use CFD to model various things. For example, the wind, urban microclimate, natural ventilation, HVAC and thermal comfort. And with SimScale, you can access CFD on a web browser using GPU accelerated cloud simulation. We have several new generation of solvers, including the lattice Boltzmann method, which increase by an order of magnitude the time taken to simulate you know, real world problems. So this you can see on the screen, you're modeling a transient wind, which is a real wind. Ordinarily, a simulation like this on a large model in you know, in legacy desktop tools might take days to do, but SimScale you can do it in hours. So it's an order of magnitude improvement. Some of the types of simulation we can do, for example, external simulation, you might use it for looking at building aerodynamics, pedestrian wind comfort and safety, wind loading, and a closer look at wind pressure coefficients. And you can do that you know, from the very early concept massing stage through to design and uh, uh, planning level quality. Indoor simulation focuses on things like understanding the flow of air in and around space, looking at airflow diffuser types in more detail, and modeling different types of equipment, such as underfloor heating, and also looking at thermal comfort. So this is all entirely possible right now. The question is, what are the major trends we're seeing in building simulation over the next few years? And what is our response? Well, the first major trend is something called co-simulation. So we're applying the physics and CFD to complement thermal modeling tools. This is really important. And the reason is because a lot of these thermal modeling tools were developed 20 plus years ago when we didn't have the cloud, we didn't have the fantastic processing uh, computational power we have now. So a lot of the physics in there was based on simplified relationships based on empirical modeling. We don't need to do that anymore. We don't need to shy away from that. We have tons of computing power available. So let's capture more of the physics, model the physics more explicitly. And let's bring this uh, capability into the thermal modeling tools. We have some great examples where we've modeled the CFD generated wind pressure coefficients in SimScale and imported them into thermal modeling tools to make the accuracy of the dynamic simulation uh, much better and higher. That's just one example. The other trend we're seeing is, look, we have one world, why not have one model? Typically, we simulate the external environment separately and the indoor environment separately. What we want to do is couple these more effectively, right? An example, the wind atmospheric changes, they have a huge impact on the heating and cooling loads and ventilation. So the question is, what kind of solver do we need to be able to capture this and couple that environment. SimScale have uh, the next generation solvers, including the lattice Boltzmann method, that coupled with putting it on the cloud uh, using GPUs uh, and really leveraging the parallel simulation capabilities makes this kind of simulation a lot more possible now and realistic. My final point is integration collaboration is very important. The typical design workflow is very sequential right you you'll have one kind of analyst simulation person different people sending him or her requests to do uh, types of analysis on a desktop ca tool really what we need to do is turn that around completely and give everyone or a lot more people access to different apps so you know you might have a wind comfort app a wind loading app and architects engineers they can all access this dip into it dip out whenever they want to and this is um this is automated using a, a an api and it's hosted on simscale workbench. So, and you can involve all the different stakeholders in there. So the three key points, co-simulation, capture more physics, integration, and automation. Thank you.